Hi everyone, welcome back. It was so much fun last week for Vacation Bible School. Raise your hand if you got to go to someone's backyard or do the virtual experience at home. I had so much fun. Well, in August, remember, we're talking about being faithful. Now, faith is believing that Jesus can change us. And being faithful is acting like Jesus can change us. The first week, we talked about how the story of Jesus changes everything. And how about when you know Jesus, it can help you change your life. And if you share that story with your friends and family, it can help change their lives for the better because then they'll know Jesus too. This week, you've already watched the story about Saul and how when he met Jesus on the road to Damascus, it changed everything in his life. The story of Jesus changes how you see Jesus too. Now we're going to play a really fun game and you're gonna need a blindfold or you can just close your eyes and not peek. And some crayons. So go ahead and grab those. I'm gonna use purple. Ha! Now have one crayon and one piece of paper. And before you draw anything, put your blindfold on or close your eyes. We are going to do a game called Drawing in the Dark. <laughs> now, have someone around you give you your crayon and your paper. Okay, I got those. I'm glad I put them where I knew what they would be. And then have them give you something to draw. And we're going to see how well people can draw with their eyes closed or with a blindfold. Okay, what should I draw? I'm going to draw a unicorn. I can't see. I'm going to start with a horn and then a pony face. You could draw whatever you want to draw. You don't have to draw what I'm drawing. Leg one. Leg two. Leg three. Leg four. Nice tail. Beautiful mane. Okay. Now. Whenever you're finished, take your blindfold off or open your eyes and see how you did. Oh my goodness, this poor little unicorn. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> now, phase two of the game is to flip your page over or grab another page and draw the same thing with your eyes open. You could take as much time or as little time as you want. Oh, it's much easier to draw a unicorn with my eyes open. Much easier. My poor, my poor unicorn the first time. My poor unicorn. And this is my unicorn the second time. Now, I want to show you my two unicorns together. Can you believe how different they are? <laughs> you can play this game as much as you want at home. Make sure everyone gets a turn. And then when you're done, I want you to look at all of your drawings. The ones that you drew with your eyes closed or in the dark. And the ones that you drew where you could see. Our Bible story is kind of like that today. Because knowing Jesus changes how you see him. Before I knew Jesus, I didn't know what to think. It's kind of like this drawing where the lines don't match up and I only had a, like a vague idea of where things were going or what shape it was in. But when I met Jesus, it opened my eyes into who he actually was because I had a personal relationship with him. I could talk with him. I could read the Bible and learn more about him. I could pray and I could listen and maybe hear his voice too through the Holy Spirit. When you know Jesus, it changes what you think about him. There are a lot of people who think a lot of very different things around Jesus. But the ones who know Jesus best are the ones who've met him, are the ones who have a personal relationship with him. They're the ones whose eyes are opened to see who Jesus really is. The dots are connected. It makes more sense. And it was like that for Saul, too. 
Before Saul knew Jesus, he thought he had an idea of who Jesus was. And it led him to be really mean and hurt a lot of people. But when he met Jesus on the road to Damascus, Jesus changed everything. And it changed the way that Saul looked at Jesus too, because Saul knew him now. He knew the right lines to connect on the page. He knew the right way to live. And he wanted to spend the rest of his life telling other people about Jesus too. Because when you know Jesus, you want to share with the rest of the world who he is and how much Jesus loves them.